Hey, this is Robert here at Guzzi Fabrication, and I'm going to walk you through on how to remove the lower control arm bushing sleeve from a set of Mopar lower control arms. And this is the sleeve that we're going to be removing here. Now, this is uh, what I call a press pipe. It's a larger diameter pipe that goes over the bushing that we're going to be pressing out and here I'm cutting it to length and then we're going to clean up the area around the bushing getting all the grime and dirt and stuff off we're going to be welding Now this is the trick. You want to use a washer that's really thick or you can use a nut also that's uh, the, the right diameter. We're going to stick it on top of the sleeve. Then we're going to weld that into place. And this is going to give us a surface to push against. Now this is just a wrist pin or hardened pin out of a, out of a something else, but it is the right diameter and the right length to slide through the lower control arm. And we're going to use that to press out the bushing. Now this is just a ball joint press, but it's really versatile and I've used it for a lot of other things besides ball joints and we're going to use it today to press this bushing out. Insert the press pin. Then assembling the press. And I'm going to do a little cheating here with an electric impact. It makes life much easier. You can use a socket and ratchet or a wrench as well. And that effectively. presses out the bushing. And the best part about this method is that it does not gall or damage the lower control arm in any way. Sometimes people use a chisel or something like that to get it started fold up an edge and uh, yeah that always results in damage and then this is a picture of uh, what's all involved that's the bushing with the washer welded into place basically we're just capping the bushing and that's the press pin rests against it